Welcome, welcome to my channel. This is Clarity Empress, the Empress of Clarity. Here to do another collective energy reading for my Clarity Empress Collective. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Comment in the comment section. Let me know how the reading resonates with you. I hope everyone is doing well. Let's begin. Well, somebody's in disappointment. Five of Cups. Uh, five of Swords. Uh, what is going on? What is happening with my collective? Give me a message for the collective, please, and thank you. Hmm. All right, somebody is um, anxious. So they're not healing, they're just anxious, right? They want to come out of, I don't know, hermit mood, healing. Like they're heal they're they're trying to come out of their healing prematurely. I feel like somebody's feeling that time is up and they want to avoid a tower moment. They want to avoid an ending. Um, this person is very immature. They want a new beginning with the page of cups. They want to send that message to you. They're very much in their emotions and probably in a lot of fear with the moon card because, uh, yeah, that's giving, um, it's giving things unseen, things misunderstood, stuff like that. Ah, so we have the page of swords. In reverse, page of swords in reverse is giving me that energy of somebody being a little angry, a little disappointed, a little confused, maybe a lot confused, but very immature energy here. And I get that this is uh, coming from someone else who has a lot. Now, take it how it resonates. If it don't resonate, don't take it. This could be you or somebody else, but Spirit is saying this is another person. Bottom of the deck, uh, moving on. But what? Moving on to what, right? Because this person here is trying to avoid a tower moment. And I feel they're trying to avoid a tower moment with you, an ending. That's why they're restless. They're like, ah, I got to get back to my collective real quick. I don't want the collective to forget me or move on from me or something like that. So they're like not changed yet, not healed yet, but not really not really ready to make a move but they're like i gotta i gotta do something and they're scared you scared this person collective i feel like you put the fear of something in them one at a time please one at a time Eight of Swords. Yeah, this this is all this person thinks about is what do I do next? How do I do it? How quickly can I get it done? Will it work out? Like all the questions come to this person's mind. Tell me what's there. Death. Ooh, somebody wants to avoid an ending that is just inevitable because death is here. Right? Whether you have death at upright or or in reverse. Death energy is here. Somebody is, they want to avoid a tower. They're really trying to put it into a destruction. Maybe avoid. That's weird though. I'm hearing they're trying to avoid the end of something that should end. But the death card is here to bring the ending. I don't know if this is about you or this person holding on to a karmic situation that's over. 
I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Tell me more about the uh, Page of Cups, please. I gotta remember to say what's on my head. In my head, Spirit is telling me. I gotta say, I gotta say it first. And not overthinking. Ten of Cups. I mean, Ten of Coins, sorry. So, somebody wants um, a new beginning in a family. And that's all they think about. Now, the tower is another divine energy type of uh, card. So, if it's in reverse, there's somebody trying to, you know, stop the... Oh, are you moving on from somebody? And causing an ending in this person and thinking that they have to come towards you quickly before you shut shut the door. It's almost like, you know how if, you, if you're in college, you, you might know. If you were ever in college, how some professors back in the day, I don't think they do it anymore, used to lock the doors at a specific time. Meaning like, I don't know, if the class starts at 8, by 8.05, those doors are going to be locked. You can't get into that class right so i feel like this is what's happening somebody is like mm -mm, you're not gonna lock that door they coming this is like somebody coming at the last minute yep spirit said that's the truth with the sun and the moon um yeah they're operating in fear but this is somebody i, I feel with this page of swords is somebody that's gonna be trying to arrive at 806 knocking on the door disturbing the class um, I see the Seven of Cups here, even though it's too many cards. Yeah. Somebody's going to be disturbing the class trying to get in. This is somebody that's learning their lesson a little late. Really late with the lessons. <laughs> didn't do their homework. Didn't study. Didn't study. Oops, Spirit said that's the truth. They didn't study. Mm-hmm. Mm, they didn't study. They weren't paying attention. Oh, yeah. So this person is trying to come home. <laughs> That's what this is. Somebody is trying to come home. They don't want to lose this Ten of Pentacles situation, but they're immature. They know that certain things is over or this tower situation is bad foundation. Have to be over, but there's some resistance to it. They're stuck on you. They they can't stop thinking about you, but they're anxious because of you or who you are or what you mean to them. And then you got the sun clarifying the moon. So this is highlighting this person's fears, but telling them at the same time, stop being afraid. You can see in the dark now because the sun is shining, right? The, the ace, of, ace of Swords is here to clarify that this person is probably going to run late. Will you have compassion and empathy for them and crack that door open? Or will you keep it locked? Will they lose points? Will they fail the semester? Hmm, who knows? But this door is not open. This door is not open, um, and this person is likely to not have their stuff together. Is what I'm what I'm getting from spirit. It's like they're not really ready. It's like a freshman or somebody younger than a freshman in dual enrollment trying to take college classes, but don't have the maturity to be in college. They're just not there. Um, they want to move on to peaceful waters. They want to. Move home. They want to come home. Four of Wands with the Six of Swords. They want to come home. But Spirit said, the truth is, our truth is, I never should have let you go. <laughs> um, That's that Fantasia song, Truth Is. Yeah, somebody's feeling regretful energy. Oh, that's why I saw that Five of Cups. Yeah, somebody's feeling regretful for the way they behave, how they operated. Mm. Yeah, somebody's feeling extremely disappointed and sad over what they what's happening with you all and what's about to happen because they're not ready. 
Um, they're still operating in fear, even though the sun card is here saying you can proceed, you know, you can go. Like, you know, this is like a stoplight. You stop and you go. This person was on red light, sitting at the red light for the longest. While meanwhile, people are uh, moving around them, making left turns, right turns, going straight or whatever. But they're getting around this person. This person's sitting at a, at a red light and not doing anything. And they need to go. They want this Ten of Pentacles, though, Page of Cups. They really do desire it. Uh-huh. Now, all this person can think about is this union with you. Now, this more likely is a romantic situation, but this is all that they can think about. Tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, they are supposed to move away from a, a different Ten of Pentacles situation, a family situation that held up held a lot of secrets they need to move away quickly the tower represents time I mean more spirit whoa message so they're concerned they want to communicate this person wants to communicate they have a message they're basically saying can I have another chance we start over to have a do-over. This is what this person wants. A do-over. This is what they need to do. The mature man. They need to grow up. They need to mature. They don't have to age. But they have to mature. And they cause judgment. So, you know. Bottom of the deck. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So, you... Kind of like, all right, so the ball is in their court as far as the action. But ultimately, when the ball balls, you know, it's in their court, and it all depends on how they bounce it back to you, what your decision is going to be. Because Spirit said the judgment here, Ace of, court, Ace of Swords. And then we got Courthouse. So it's like a lot is hanging in the balance. Like a, a lot is at stake right now. And they are really... Um, this person might even have a representative, somebody talking to them, somebody trying to guide them and, and, and counsel them like a lawyer would. Here's what you say on the stand. Here's what you don't say. Don't incriminate yourself. Blah, 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 blah. Or let me do all the talking. Like somebody is really kind of coaching this person as to how to get back home with you. But they know ultimately you make the decision and you're going to weigh all the options. This is giving justice energy. They know that one false move and it can go all the way left. Also, I feel like um, judgment or justice, what this would be, they wouldn't get a second chance. And that's what they're concerned. Like, well, you know, how much compassion uh, do you have for them now? It all depends on your person, what they've done, how far they've gone, how many cycles, you know, what, what, how you weigh it up. You are the judge, but the ball is in their court, meaning they have to present their argument why you should let them come home. Mm -mm -mm. But they got a message for you. They coming with, they coming with a message. They just a little, mm, little confused as to how to deliver this message and as much as they want to avoid this tower with this other situation they cannot death card is here it's coming it's ending that that pause it's in that's exactly what's happening they're ending the pause that's foundation is crippling no matter what it's completely sugar spirit said they don't want to be in that family room anymore whatever that family room represents Whatever that home represents, they don't want to be in that energy anymore. They don't want to be there anymore. They're done with that. And they want to come home. Let me see. <laughs> so, tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about marriage. Ooh, there was a snake in the past. There is a karmic situation this person is trying to move away from. 
This karmic bit them in the ass, caused blockages, um, made them emotionally unavailable because they kept dealing with whatever went on with this snake energy. Whatever this snake was doing was constantly distracting them from your connection. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah. This person wants to move into a different direction. They really, like I said, they want to leave that family situation. And they want to go toward their true north. Away from that south energy. South node energy. Ooh, did I say it? Time is ticking. Because I sure enough thought it. If I didn't say it, time is ticking. This, oh, I did. Because I was saying, this is like somebody going to college. And the door gets shut in their face. I said it. They get there. They're supposed to be there no more later than 8.05 at the very latest. And that's considered late. You can still get marked late, but the doors get locked at 8.06. This person is coming between 8.06, 8.07, trying the door, disturbing the class, still trying to get in with their message. Tell me more, Spirit. Mm -mm -mm. They have a decision they need to make. Which way do they go? This is at a crossroads. This person really has to decide, like, wh how do they want to live? Do they want to live with, in a karmic situation where, I don't know, pride and ego probably exists, constant lesson after lesson after lesson that feels like cycles? Um, they're staying in survival mode kind of energy. Or, or I should say, and they're very happy, unhappy. Or, do they go toward love where abundance waits, where things are plentiful, where um, they can trust the people they're around and the situation, it is what it is. Like this person didn't experience that kind of energy before, that trust. And so they may have only gotten it with you, which makes it hard because if they've only grown around this karmic type of situation, and they attract more karmics, you are foreign to them. You are different to them. They're not used to anything like that. So they don't know how they can trust it because what they can trust is chaos and conflict. What they can trust is drama. You know, never knowing when the world going to fall from them, that they can trust they're going to be hungry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or needy in some kind of way or a victim. But they can't trust being on their own being interdependent and supported, loved and nurtured, they can't trust that. So they have to learn. They have to decide whether I'm going to choose that or not. And then, then they're going to have to decide if they're going to go with the flow. But they know you are judge, jury, and execution at this point. That the move is all about them taking, making the effort. Tell me more, Spirit. Ooh, and they know you're not playing. They might even think that you're angry with them. Even if you're not. They may think you're angry with them. However, they know that you are the type of person um, will crack the whip. This is the whip here. So you may be like, get your together. Get it together. You know what I mean? Do what you need to do. Discipline, blah, blah, blah. Like you're, So this person is used to dealing with somebody that made it easy for them, right? Chaos and conflict. You can go be chaotic. They'll be chaotic. We all be chaotic together. It's whatever. You know, this is what we do. We chaotic. This is what I'm used to, right? But then you have more law and order, what I was saying. Discipline, right? And now they will get disciplined with you. That's why you are the judge, your executioner. That's why the Ace of Swords is here. Now, the Ace of Swords is also a victory. So I feel like this person is going through this crossroads energy, but they're about to choose love. But that love comes with discipline. That love comes with some authority. That love comes with justice. This person didn't realize that they were worthy of love. I feel like this person has a self-worth issue. They didn't feel like, because, you know, when you were tucking your tail, people pleasing, running around uh, like a chicken with your head cut off, you don't have time for self-worth. You don't have boundaries. You don't have any of that. But with you, you, you have boundaries and they know it. If they didn't understand it before, they know it now. Yeah. 
they got to court you. I'm telling you, this person has a representative, somebody that's like telling them, this is what you do. Trust me, you better go with a gift. I don't know what the gift is going to be, but it might be flowers. I don't know. But this person is your gift. So you got to be a gift to this person. Somebody is giving them guidance and, and giving them the playbook. Telling them what to do to win you back so they can come home. This person wants to come home. So this person may have even lived with you at some point in time. You guys may have had it the same space uh, or even talked about moving in. This person wants to build a home with you. They want the love. They want to take their brokenness and come towards you. Because again, that eight, that that five of cups and five of swords, this person is in a lot of regret over this past situation with this snake. That snake that is somebody they could have been married to or very highly committed. And this person is anxious to get away from this individual. They're trying to avoid a tower too because they, they could be, at this point, I'm getting the way this tower falling with the death card. It's like they were trying so hard to avoid the tower, but they can't anymore because death energy is here. It's about to be over or it is already over. Right? So it, it, there's no more avoiding what they're trying to avoid. It is what it is. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see here. So your person been trying to avoid the inevitable. It's like they gotta get they got oh, and this this also is you put you um holding this person accountable for their actions like they don't just get to do what they want they don't just get to come say what they want and get a victory they're gonna have some accountability they got to come before judgment they got to account and atone for their actions or their sins so to speak this person is not going to come you're not gonna let them come easily that's what spirit says like uh-huh yeah but what about because these things have to be addressed before anybody can move on. It, it can't be, uh, all right, this person loves me, so we're just going to start again. No. What's the remedy from, from the past issue? What is the remedy? Take ownership and responsibility for your actions. I feel like your person has a challenge with that, but they will be willing to go through it because that's the likely outcome. Like they're gonna face it regardless because this is what they want. And this is the and what if they realize that this is just a blip in time, like meaning atone for your stuff so you can move on. But if you don't atone for your stuff, how can you? I, nobody's gonna pretend that it just went away. You could easily do it again, whatever it was, right? So your person, uh, and I feel like I'm talking to your twin, they're not going to Forget it. It's not going to be always oh, the past. No. We got to deal with the past before we can move on. Move, move on. Somebody connects with you with Music uh, Collective. So if you hear certain songs that make you think of that person and remind you of that person, that person connected to you with music, person could be very musically inclined. Whether they play an instrument or not, they may just have a nice playlist of music. Or you share the playlist of music with this person. <laughs> speak your truth. Thank you, Gabrielle, for helping me speak with integrity. This person got messages. What did I say? Yeah, message right here. They got something to say. They uh, And they want to come to you with truth. And they want to come with integrity now. Because they didn't know if they don't come to you with the truth. when they don't, Because the evidence could come out. There's two counsels. There's the defendant and the plaintiff. If they don't come, you got you have uh, receipts and they know it. So they know they got to tell the truth because there's so many ways you can, I don't know, you may already have all the receipts you need, but it's probably easy for you to get it. So if they don't come, honestly, you're going to find out anyway. I feel like you're very spiritually inclined and gifted and um, yeah. Especially if you can connect with somebody with music. They may be spiritually inclined and gifted. And so so may you be. Following your intuition. If you're watching this reading. I'm pretty sure you are. 
trust your vibes. Again, spiritually gifted. Thank you, angels. Today, I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. You are spiritually gifted. Spirit just confirmed that. You are. If you're listening to this, you need to just trust your intuition more. It's not that you don't have it. You don't need a tower reader to tell you. You just need, sometimes we come here in these spaces and we listen for confirmation. Really, a lot of times I explain to my clients that all I'm doing is reading the energy and giving you a confirmation of what you already know. And then spirit will provide advice for you about maybe what to do about your situation. But in, in, in collectives, is a little different because a lot of different people are pulling this energy. And some some stories match, some parts of stories match, some don't. So you got to take it how it resonates. But ultimately, where you should be governed by, first and foremost, is your own personal intuition. What do you feel? What do you believe? But I feel like you have a strong intuition. And Spirit just confirmed that. Tell me more, Spirit. Earth Angel, thank you for inspiring me to be more like you. This person is inspired by you and you are their earth angel. This is why they, they losing sleep and they're restless and anxious about getting back to you and building a home on earth with you. Because you may have met each other in the ethers, right? And they knew that you were supposed to be prominent in their lives at some point in time. They knew that, right? We forget that when we um go through the veil, the veil of the womb or or the stomach, you know, however we come to this earth. When we crack the air, we breathe air, it's like we forget. But we came here with a deep knowing of who we are. And part of that deep knowing is on the other side, we meet our earth angels. We are, we could also be earth angels, right? Interacting with other earth angels. And we make a pact, I'm going to come find you at this time. Because I'm going to need your help at this time in my life. Or I'm going to need to unify with you at this time in my life. And so you are an earth angel that has has helped this person quite a lot. Tell me more spirit. And I feel like them forgetting who they are, they may have taken advantage of that. Tell me more spirit. Ooh, spiritual support. This is what I'm talking about. This is a spiritual court of people. It says, dear angels, I allow you to support me as I grow and become more spiritually aware. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Listen, y'all, this was all decided in the ethers before you got here. In the heavens, whatever you want to call it. This was all divinely guided. And it's all going to come together. Now, we still are earth beings with will right we have the will to choose that's why you have the judgment here because you have the will to choose if this is if you can stomach tolerate this go further or not bottom of the deck unconditional love this is what this person is coming for this is what this person misses from you unconditional love divine you are this this the empress energy is given Thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love I deserve. This person is like, I got to come. And they're being counseled. I can't come in Canada. I got to show this person I mean what I say. Because I love them. They are my earth angel. They are my empress energy. They give him, they've given me unconditional love. Again, this person may not have experienced it. That's coming to an end. And they're willing to do whatever it takes. And they've been praying to God to help them. They've been praying to their spiritual court, their ancestors, whomever they choose to call them. They're praying. They was like, you know what? Can you please bring my empress back? Or bring, you know, allow my empress to see fit to have me back into my empress life. Male, female, gender doesn't matter, but it is divine feminine energy. So this person is a masculine, <coughs> excuse me. Trying to get back home to their divine feminine. Oh, my throat chakra all of a sudden just started choking up on me. Yeah, so this person is praying like, I need some help. I, I know I got to do some work I got to do. I need help. Help me get back to my divine feminine. But they got to put that work and that effort in. So take it how it resonates. If it don't resonate, don't take it. But ultimately, your person is trying to figure out how to get back home to you. 
Empress, Divine Mother. All right, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Comment in the comment section. Let me know if the reading resonates with you. Until we meet again, um, if you want to book a personal reading, you can uh, email me at clarityempress at gmail.com. Check out my TikTok. I have some funnies up there, some serious, serious stuff up there. But check me on TikTok with the same name, same um, profile pic. And what else did I say? Yeah. Join me on Twitter that they call X, but it ain't nothing but Twitter. Go on Twitter and find me too. Anyway, peace, y'all.